Today I'm going to show you my two computer setup that I've never seen any other music producer use on YouTube or Twitch. I'll show you all the secrets behind 93 Acres, including my favourite headphones, interfaces, keyboards, microphones, <laughs> gaming setups and the extra detail in how to set up your own perfect music production studio. So come on in. Let me start off with the table. It is a sit and stand table, pretty self-explanatory. It has an up and a down, <laughs> which is great for my back. I was having slight problems, not really that bad, but you know, you'd be sitting there for 15 hours and yeah, that wasn't any good for anyone. So sit and stand desk from Ikea, big help. What's on the table? Well, we have two monitors, two Dell monitors left and right. The Dell monitor here is connected to my server. There's a big N, server. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then this other monitor here, larger screen. This is my working monitor. This is where I put my laptop onto so I can see everything clearly. And this is a MacBook Pro 2018. And that's been my work host for the last few years, which has been running the streams, recording for, for YouTube and for Twitch, and then also running Logic Pro, as you can see there, with all these wonderful colors. But it was running out of space and hence I had to upgrade. Let's take a look at the interfaces I'm using at the minute. So I need two interfaces. One for the server, which is a Scarlett, Focus right, two I2, two inputs, two outputs. And then on the right hand side of an Apollo Twin X. This is amazing, super, super interface. You can have plugins running on the way in, plugins running on the way out, or you don't even record those plugins on the way in. Talk more about that in the future, but it's a super interface and this is connected to my laptop. And this is for all my audio recording and all of my music workflow. That's what I use the Apollo for and then a focus right for the server just for monitoring the recording, whether that's for YouTube or on stream on Twitch. And for that, I use a free piece of software called OBS. Keyboards, pretty self-explanatory. The Apple's keyboard and trackpad. And then I have a relatively cheap Logitech Bluetooth keyboard because all I need to really do on the screen is start recording an OBS and stop recording an OBS. Not too much more. Or maybe turn on Steam if you know you're starting to play some games or something like that. Let's look at the headphones now. So I have my two favorite headphones on this desk. We have my favorite headphones for recording audio because it's very little bleed. Audio-Technica M50X. I love these so much. These are actually my first headphones. The only which issue with them is after maybe like two hours, I start feeling a little bit of soreness on my ears as I compress my head a bit too much, but they're great for a short period of time, especially recording vocals, very little bleed. And that's where the positives balance out, the pros and cons kind of balance out between these two. Bear Dynamic 990 Pro, and these are super for wearing for long periods of time. They never, like I've ne never really had any headaches or any ear soreness from wearing these for hours and hours and hours. They're so nice. They're great for mixing, very honest. Uh, they do have a lot of bleed though, so they're not great for recording vocals, even though I do <laughs> more or less continue to do so anyway, but they're not ideal for it. And then we've got our camera's input. So we use an ATEM Mini here. So I can change between our camera inputs, one for the main, two for the show, three to get ready, and four, I haven't found the girl yet, but we'll get there eventually. <laughs> what was that? At the minute I have the camera off, recording this, my Sony A6600, which is super because it has auto eye focus. Sony is unparalleled with its auto eye focus. It has stabilization as well. To be honest, I'm never really kicking the table that much to be moving it, but I love that camera to bits. You can judge it now, see if the camera quality is any good. Recording in 4K. You can see all my blemishes. Beside it, we have the Elgato Key Light, which is a little bit expensive, but worth every penny. Elgato products are so good. And then we have a D3400 Nikon, my first camera. It's not ideal for streaming because it can only have its live feed for 15 minutes and then it switches off. But if you just hit the live feed whenever you're moving over here to record some keyboard, it does the job. Speaking of keyboard, it's an Alessis VI49. I couldn't see it on Thoma the other day, which is where I get most of my music stuff from, but I think it's probably still available. It's really nice. It has, you know, your mod wheels here on the left, has some drum pads and it has nice different colors. <laughs> I do like the different colors. That was a big selling point. It's not weighted, but it does the job. No problems there. An Acres light, a bit overused these lights, but look, I still love it. You know, I have to show the brand somehow. We've got two guitars. We have an acoustic. This is just a tangle wood. It's a little bit difficult to play because the strings, what would you call it? I don't know. It's just very bulky. It's very clunky. That's gonna fall down in a second. If you couldn't tell, it is a bedroom setup. This is a bed behind me with a mattress, not a mattress cover, a duvet cover on top of it. You know, with one of those nice patterns. But uh, it does the job, it does the job. And then I have the Ikea lights. They're 22 euro Ikea lights. I don't know what that translates to in dollars. Probably 25-ish Ikea lights, seven euro light shades. So nothing too fancy, but it does the job. 
My other guitar is an Epiphone Les Paul. It uh, has done the job. It's my first guitar. Had it since I was 13, so it's been a while now, a good long time. It sounds lovely. I would like to get a Gibson eventually just because, you know, it's a Gibson. But uh, that Epiphone has done me so well. It's just super amazing. So Gibson, if you're watching, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be waiting for that email. Oh, and we have a chair. I nearly forgot the chair. How could I forget the chair? This chair is also from Ikea. I'm realizing I have a lot of Ikea stuff. But this is a mesh chair. This is so nice. I love it to bits. Super comfortable, but I've got a musical pillow on top of it. Well, your guitars, lutes, basses, trumpets, French horns, <laughs> violins, etc. Just because you need more musical cushions if you can. I don't know. So yeah. That's there. <laughs> Nothing too fancy about the cushion, but the chair is super nice. It's worth spending money on your back and keeping your body in some sort of normal shape, especially when you're sitting at a desk for like 15 hours, it kind of has to be done. You build it up over time. Like I've been working on this for over 15 years now. So let's take a look at the right-hand side. We've PlayStation. How fancy, yeah, for the little bit of gaming you can do. And um, to be honest, I haven't been gaming too much, been making too many YouTube videos, but I really love this double charger. Ah. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that sound. Let me lean, lean in close with my lav mic. Oh, so nice, so, so nice. Love this charger for the PlayStation 5. You can kind of see it there in the background. I'll get some nice B-roll of it. And we've got a aloe vera plant, which is underlighted. <laughs> it needs a bit more light. I've also created a Patreon account where you can support me making these production and tutorial videos. You can help me build this channel for as little as a price of a cup of coffee per month. You'll be able to get feedback on your latest projects, chat about your music production goals, get advice from me and connect with other patrons in our Discord room. There's also five available slots for one-to-one -one tuition with myself. So if any of that sounds good to you, you can check the link out down below. And then we've got our two microphones right here. We've got our SM7B. So this is a dynamic microphone, super for, you know, apartment blocks like this, where you won't pick up the background, where my AKG414 condenser microphone will pick up lots of background noise or like your laptop fans, etc. So that's the reason I have both of them. I use the AKG, which is plugged into my Apollo. If you can follow the black XLR cable there, that's for recording vocals. And then I have the blue XLR here from the Focusrite, which is just speaking into this SM7B, which is all my speaking to camera parts where, you know, that's more frequently what I'm doing. So having that audio slightly higher quality, well, it's not necessarily higher quality, just way less background noise. And that's so important using this SM7B. And that's why you see so many people using it. But any condenser, any dynamic microphone will pretty much do the same thing uh, just it's nice having something you know especially in a music studio having a microphone that really doubles up as an audio you know vocal recording microphone is really helpful so that's why you know I probably advise maybe spending saving up for longer to spend the extra money on something that you can use for the rest of your career in music production recording vocals or guitars or whatever it is. And the last thing I want to talk about is the server. This is the newest addition and this is what really changed this whole music setup. So we can see it's a two computer setup. So helpful for power CPU, of course, I was kind of running out a bit of space on the laptops, the 2018 MacBook Pro. And it was handling it, but it was making a lot of fan noise, let's be honest. <laughs> running Logic and then running OBS to record everything I was recording, whether that be stream on Twitch or whether it was just the recording off, off stream for YouTube. It was getting a bit hot. So I needed something to solve that issue. So this server did that. It runs the stream for me. I have OBS up here and that's just screen grabbing whatever's happening on the laptop. As you can see, I bought this monitor to try and solve my connectivity issues. You know, charges for phones, plugins for the keyboard, etc. But I was running out of connections because we only have four USB ports in here, USB-C. So that solved that issue as well. I have so many ports in the back of this. I have the A10 mini running into it, all my cameras. So if I have more cameras, they can all run into here. And then of course, what is the server? It's for storage. I have 16 giga, no, sorry, 16 terabytes of storage in here at the minute, which is backed up, it's doubled. So eight by eight. So if it, one of the hard drives fails, it's backed up on, it's, what would you say? It's duplicate on the other side. So that's really helpful as well for the storage. So if I have samples, Logic Pro projects, or even, you know, YouTube videos now or streams, I have it all saved up there. Just so, you know, if I lose anything, uh, I don't lose it. And then of course it's powerful enough to game. You can see there I've Steam <laughs> downloaded uh, because it's 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I can give 16 gigabytes for a Windows virtual machine because it's not running Windows, it's actually running Unraid, which is based on Linux, but it allows me to run a virtual machine Windows and that Windows machine is basically using half of the power of the computer, of the server. And then the store, the server is, <laughs> is controlling the other half of the power. So I can run them both at the same time. So that's great. So I can game as well if, you know, the PlayStation's not <laughs> doing the job. It's a bit of a bit of a dream setup at the minute. So it's all a combination of 
uh, solving all those issues and problems I was having in a one for all kind of like things like four birds, one stone. <laughs> Gaming, storage, connectivity um, and power. Pretty much solves all those issues in one. Now it's not exactly the cheapest solution, but luckily I'm working at a full-time job. Shout out to the Irish Institute of Music and Song, super place. Maybe I'll show some B-roll of there now, who knows. A great place I'm working at the minute, working on their video and audio editing. It's allowed me to save up and finally buy something I've been looking at for a long while. Since my good friend Alan, shout out to Alan, he gave me the idea and helped me implement <laughs> that idea and execute, I should say, as opposed to implement. Execute that idea, so now I have the power, the storage, connectivity, and all of that now I need for making ultimate amount of videos. Also, I hope Alan, <laughs> you might help people in the, in the comments as well. He knows more than me, especially with the building your own computer. I couldn't have done it without him. So big shout out to Alan. Oh, and YouTube thinks you'll enjoy uh, that video there. So why not click on it? <laughs>